I bring you greetings from my fellow officers and directors here at the South England Conference. Yesterday, as the government restrictions were lifted, some have asked, how will this impact our church services? And we would ask pastors and church board members to continue to do their own risk assessments before opening their churches. Although it is not mandatory to wear face masks during services, we would still counsel you to be vigilant by washing your hands and observing those social distancing. Friends, your safety is our priority. At our executive committee meeting on Sunday, we gave our blessings for the Possibility Ministries Director, Sister Jacqueline Otokba, to begin exploring the establishment of an online church for the deaf and hard of hearing community. We have taken the blessings of God for granted, but now we feel it's necessary to accommodate those with hearing impairment. The project will take place one Sabbath each month and will be hosted at the Ilford Central Church commencing September. Please pray for God's guidance and for our members who are disabled. I was excited when I received a call from one of our Hispanic church elders informing me that they were ready to baptize 16 candidates this coming Sabbath. This was the result of Bible studies conducted during the pandemic. Friends, as we seek to make disciples and build communities, the Lord will bless our efforts. There are several baptisms taking place all around our conference as members use the Discovery Bible readings to share the good news of salvation. Another project that excites me is the Blue Zone Cafe in central London. This initiative is starting in August. This plant-based Cafe is a pilot project and it's inspired by the Blue Zone centers around the world where people live the longest. The Advent Center will produce not just wholesome and tasty food, but will be seeking to inspire wellness. It will be open for the public from the 1st of August on a Eat what you want, pay what you can scheme. And all profits will be used for community services projects and assisting the disadvantaged in and around central London. The opening times are on Sunday, 2 to 6 p.m. Tuesdays and Thursdays, 5 to 9 p.m. And Friday cafe worship will be from 5 to 8.30. Friends, this is an excellent example of how to make disciples and build communities. For those who would like to volunteer and assist, please contact the local pastor, Colin Stewart, at the Advent Center. Friends, let me encourage you to do your part in making disciples and building communities. The Lord will bless your every effort and give us purpose. Really join me as we pray together. Father, we thank you for this challenge that we have of going and making disciples and building communities. We thank you for the rich harvest that we are reaping as a result. We pray, God, that as we go through this coming week, we will ensure that we do our part. Lord, keep us safe, bless us, 
as we make disciples and build communities. This is our humble prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.